afternoon and thank you very much for um, inviting me to say something. Um, jobs and growth are the top priority of the Welsh Government, has been, is and will be I'm sure in the future because um, being able to make a contribution working is one of the most important things for people's mental and physical health um, so we want everybody to have that opportunity and that must include some of our most deprived communities and social enterprises can be a really effective way of engaging with people and giving them the hope and the inspiration that they can use their initiative and their uh, good ideas to um, be of benefit to their communities. So um, I'm, I think it's fantastic that um, we've got this money uh, that is going to be administered by the, um, the Wales Cooperative Centre and Derek's already told you about um, the Cooperative Centre's track record in creating 30,000 jobs and 1.7 billion of extra money into the Welsh economy. So um, I think that these are really good ways of growing our economy and getting more people in decent jobs, inspirational jobs as opposed to jobs where they feel they've got to do it but have no um, enthusiasm for it. Um, I've had the privilege to um, go and visit some of the fantastic cooperative uh, ventures uh, that have have been started through the European programme and with the, the co-op's help. Uh, for example, up in um, Gwynis, um, there are three projects in the uh, Festiniop area, uh, which all of which are amazing. One is the, the Gwesti Seren Hotel, which is a 10-bedroom hotel designed for people with disabilities and their families and carers. And what an amazing service that is for people across England and Wales in the main, but I'm sure they would take people from other parts if, if they were interested. But it, it's a really good service for um, people who need that extra support and the, the attention to detail around disabled access and support. Um, and it's also, um, on, a de on a weekly basis, it's, it's a meeting point for a, a social club for uh, people with learning difficulties in that area, which is, is really a very important um, way of them getting to meet new people rather than just um, being reliant on their family for social contact. Um, we've also got um, the Penguin Arms in Clam Festiniog. <coughs> it was, uh, was the last pub in the village and um, was closed as a privately run operation and has reopened as a social enterprise owned by the local community, funded by the local community and it's a fantastic community asset. Not only has it become a youth club but it's also a centre for live music obviously for social engagement, it's providing hotel accommodation for people who are working on decommissioning Trouse Phillips Power Station and slowly as they build up um, the um, surplus from their trading they are restoring this wonderful old building which is you know, part of our culture. So a fantastic example of what can be done in villages which are struggling with um, services closing by cooperating together they've built up a really excellent community resource. And thirdly, the, um, the Antostinio uh, project, which has got an amazingly uh, energetic uh, <coughs> um, which has developed um, outdoor mountain biking and hiking up in the, around Blyna Festinio. Um, also built a centre to ensure that people aren't just being taken up the top of the mountain in order to either bicycle or or motorbike down, but are also at the bottom, then stopping, you know, spending their money on a cafe at the bottom, so that the whole community of Life Festival is benefiting. And they've just opened another um, cafe on Lake Trasfinith, um, just by the um, old power station, uh, which is a you know fantastic new resource with I mean, sailing opportunities and other. Opportunity. So it, that really is a fantastic um, community enterprise and shows what can be done in rural communities to really regenerate the economy. I, I can't not mention the leader projects of, um, that are being funded by the Rural Development Programme um, within, that's also European funding, um, which have um, there were three um, local authorities that developed community foodie schemes 
um, in Bre uh, Bridge End, Vale of Grimorgan, and in Torvine. I've been to three of the projects, um, one in Evanstown <coughs> in Bridge End, a pretty deprived community where you know, there's quite a high level of unemployment. And they've developed a community garden out of uh, you know, abandoned land, got the whole community um, involved in digging, in growing their own produce, in coming together, in extending it into selling other arts and crafts that um, members of the community have got skills in, and is now um, also selling um, um, just heritage fruit and vegetables, um, partly um, fruit trees in particular, that are um, based on a, a, a business up in, up in North Wales. Um, and so, so they've made a real difference to Evans Town. And we've got another one down in um, Dinas Powys, which is based on a, a council housing estate. Really good at just getting everybody out into the, the open air, getting them growing their own food, and coming together as a community. And in another part of the Valley of the a social enterprise that's just been inundated with requests from local pubs and restaurants who want to take their produce. Um, they could sell it two times over. And so that just shows you that certainly in areas which are more affluent, there's a huge demand for fresh fruit and vegetables, which I don't know if anybody saw the Farm to Fork programme that was on the BBC, with uh, a farmer trying to explain how difficult it was to get fresh fruit and vegetables into schools locally produced. Um, but that is something that uh, the Good Food for All um, proposal that was published recently by the Institute of Welsh Affairs indicates that in all our communities we need to be thinking about how we can um, develop healthier communities through becoming more active through developing social enterprises. So delighted to be here to support the, um, the, the European funded programme that uh, is going to be led by the Wales Property Centre. So thanks very much. Thank you very much.